Hey, what's up guys? I'm Liam and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys all of my Samsung Galaxy S devices. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so starting off, we have the Samsung Galaxy S Vibrant. Now, this is one of the first generation Galaxy S's. So, yeah, this one's on T-Mobile. I honestly don't know how many gigabytes it has on it, but it's honestly not a bad phone. And fun fact, my dad uses one of these as a daily driver. It's really sad, honestly, but he doesn't care about the phone, I guess, whatever. But he uses this exact model, uh, this exact model as a daily driver, surprisingly. Anyways, why did my camera go out of focus? I don't know. There we go. It's on. I will show you the model number, or not model number, um, what Android version it's on as soon as it decides to load. Keep in mind, this is a really old smartphone, so it's not the fastest at all. But, whatever. Anyways, where's the settings? I can't tell. Oh, it's right here. Okay, right there. Alright. Anyway, here, let me turn the brightness on this down. There we go. That's better. Anyways, let's go to About Phone. Oh, I hate it. It's so shaky. Um, and it is on Android 2.2.1. So, it's a really old phone. <laughs> but, I was actually able to get some games that were at least somewhat decent on this thing. So, that's cool. Okay, so, next up we have the Samsung Galaxy S Continuum. Now, I know this isn't a Galaxy S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. Y you get it. Um, but it's still a Galaxy S. So, that's why... It I included it. Anyways, let's power it on. And let's wait for it to turn on. <laughs> Just complete silence now. And there we go. Now, as you can see, it has two displays. You can see it better in, like, the reflection right there. Now, you can see that it has two displays, both of which are AMOLED. And as you can see, it is also running TouchWiz. So let's go. Yes, I know it's not a supported battery. I didn't feel like charging up the other battery, so I just put a different type of battery in here. It still fits. Totally fine. But it's... I don't know what these phone companies have with their batteries and whatnot, but like they have to be like this specific type. Anyways, it's on Android 2.1, update one. Don't know what the update one stands for, but yes. Anyways, let's power it off. And let's get on to the next phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic on Sprint. Now, as you can see, it is cracked, but I got it like that, as well as a couple of my other Samsung Galaxy S's. But, yeah, it's in decent condition, not too bad. Um, and as I said, it's an epic version. So, yeah, without further ado, let's power it on. Now, I can't guarantee you that the sound will be on for this one, but, yeah, it's it's not on, but it has a little, a cool little boot animation for Sprint, so, yeah. This one, surprisingly, runs Android 4. I'll show you which version. It's also running TouchWiz, obviously, because it's Samsung, but it's running Android 4.4, or 4.0.4, um, I don't know what the code name for that is, I was about to say it, but never mind, but, 
yeah. It's not too bad of a phone. It runs pretty well on Android 4, too. It's kind of surprising that this one was updated to Android 4. I honestly don't know if this one came on Android 4, but if it came from Android 2, that's pretty cool. Um, so anyways, let's power it off. And let's get on to the next one. All right, so next up we have the Samsung Galaxy S3 for Sprint. Now this is the blue one, and it almost looks like it has a purplish screen, but it's actually blue. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. I got this in a phone trade with a YouTuber na named Landon DeRacer, and I actually got this phone as well as this Samsung Galaxy Lite. This is not included in the video because it's not a Samsung Galaxy S though. But anyways, um, yeah, this one's in like complete mint condition. The worst thing I've found on this thing is up here. If my camera will focus here, let me focus to the back. There we go, now I can move it up. It's right up here, there's a tiny ding don't worry about this, that's a sticker, but there's a tiny ding next to the mic up top, but that is literally the worst thing I've found on this phone. Anyways, let's turn it on. He said it was purple, but it's actually blue. I looked it up and that's what it's called, so I don't know. Anyways, I don't know why Samsung chose to put their little Samsung logo like that, but then after that put Samsung Galaxy S3. I don't know why they didn't just go with putting the Samsung Galaxy S3 part, but whatever. There's their little boot animation. And then there's Sprint animation. And back to the Samsung animation. And there we go. Now it is on. And it works. This one works totally fine. There's no issues with it. Other than the battery being a little bit bad. It's not too bad, but it's still not as good as new. But hey, the phone's in mint condition. I, I can't complain. Anyways, this one is on Android 4.3. It hasn't been updated to Android 4.4.4 or whatever it goes on. It still has an update that it needs to go through, but I haven't updated it because, well, who knows? It might be worth more when it's not on the newest updates. So, overall, it's a very nice phone. And, yeah, if you want to check out the unboxing that I did on these phones, I will leave a link down in the description below. So, if you want to see that, then make sure to go check the description. And yeah, on to the next phone. Alright, so next up, we have my mint condition Galaxy S4. I surprisingly bought this thing on eBay for $2.90. And it works fully, as you can see. No, I'm, I'm kidding, obviously. But anyways, I bought it in a phone lot off of eBay, and it wasn't this cracked before, but... I just got bored and kind of cracked it some more. So anyways, what happened is when I got it, I tried to turn it on because they were all untested, but I found out that it had a bad AMOLED as well as it was also cracked. I don't know if you can see the original cracks, but yeah, there's a lot. But um, yeah, about this, that, that, and that is what I did to it just because I was bored. But yeah, it actually works totally fine other than the AMOLED being um, cracked so yeah that's cool so it was actually decently cheap too so I just need a new screen for it and it'll be a fully working Samsung Galaxy S5 now after that I have a Samsung Galaxy er no S4 sorry anyways after that I have my Samsung Galaxy S4 mini um, yeah, so I got it in this case from a co-worker that my grandmother works with, so I guess just my grandmother's co-worker. <sighs> Anyways, it works totally fine. Um, I actually cracked this on accident, 
Now, when I took off the case, like, this case left a weird residue on the back of the device. I don't know why, but it's kind of weird. I don't know. Anyways, let's put it back in the case because it looks nicer like that. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually an original S4 case, too, from Samsung. So that's cool. Anyways, let's boot it up. Now, what happened is I pretty much dropped it from about a foot onto some sharp concrete on accident. And, well, it completely shattered it. Now, this was a long time ago, by the way. But, yeah, this one's on Sprint. It works totally fine. And, yeah. There's the little Sprint logo. By the way, this one's on Verizon. I would show you that it boots up, but I'm just too lazy to charge it since it doesn't even really work. I mean, it works, but the, the AMOLED doesn't work, which means the screen shows nothing. So it's kind of pointless. Anyways, as you can see, it is on. It is turned on. And let's go to the settings, which is right here. Let's go to more, about, and as you can see, it is on Android. Focus, please. Just please focus. It's on Android 4. 4.2. I think that's Jelly Bean. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But whatever. Alright. So, next up we have my Samsung Galaxy S5 on Verizon. Now, the only damage to this thing majorly is down here. I don't know why it's not on any other corner. Um, but here, if my camera will actually focus for once in its damn life. Alright. As you can see, the only other damage on the corners is up here but there's nothing else except for down here which is kind of like concerning like w what happened down here I don't know but the charging port is missing the back is cracked down here and it is pretty much just in really bad condition down there but on the sides it's really good other than the bottom now I don't know when but the camera cracked um I honestly don't know when that happened, but the screen also has one crack going like that and one like that. I didn't get it like this. That was my fault, of course. But, yeah, essentially what happened is I was sitting down on the tennis court at gym, and I had nothing to do, so I was playing a game, and it got raged, so I just dropped it from about... Ah, uh, jeez. From about this high, maybe? Well, maybe higher. Probably like a foot off the ground. It hit the ground and bounced up. Like, so it hit the ground like this, bounced up, and went on the face. And then I picked it up, and it had those cracks. And I was so, 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 so mad. It was not cool. But, fortunately, it does still work. I was just about to put the password in right in front of you. That wouldn't have been smart. Anyways, as you see, it's fully working. And let's go down to about phone. It's on Android 6.0.1. So, yeah, overall it's not a bad phone. I really like this. I I don't remember like I don't know how the camera cracked. I know it wasn't from me dropping it on its back because I checked to see if the camera was cracked as well and it wasn't. So I noticed that like yesterday though, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, maybe something pressed up against it in my backpack. That might have been what happened. But yeah. Alright, so last but not least, we have my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. As you can see, it is the coral blue version. At least, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, let me turn down the brightness a tad bit. Alright. Now, let's go to the settings, and I will show you what Android version it is on. Okay, so it's on Android 7.0. I heard that this phone is actually going to be getting the Android 8.0 um, update, but I don't know when that's going to happen, and now I'm kind of doubting it happen. 
because it was a while ago that I heard about it. Although, I did hear that it was going to be out soon. So, maybe it'll come out soon. And, as in, like, soon, as in, I heard it would come out around this time. So, who knows? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. Anyways, something very unfortunate happened on last Saturday. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Over at the top left corner, you can see a little... Yeah. Anyways. I cracked it. <laughs> I'll show you in the light. Alright, so... Yeah, it's not good. Um... Yeah, there it is. You can see it. Ta-da. Good job, you can see. Um, as you can see, there is one crack right here that looks out of place, and that is because that was the first crack I got on this phone. Um, but then, <clears throat> last Saturday, I... cracked it again. <laughs> and... I was unbelievably mad. Like, madder than... I don't know how to explain it, but I, I was mad for a long time. Um, because... This was the first phone that I paid $240 for, and it came in mint condition. The only problem this phone had was a tiny bit of screen burn, <clears throat> just where the status bar is. I don't know why, but hey, doesn't matter, but unfortunately now it's cracked even more, and that's the extent of the damage. Not good.